Here's a fellow in Chicago who's trying his darndest to burn out a whole set of brand new automatic irons or make them give off a shock or start a fire. Is he a mad arsonist set loose in an appliance factory? Well, not at all. He's one of the engineers of the Underwriters Laboratories Incorporated, who've tested more than 375,000 different products to make sure they're free of fire and other hazards. The protective window in front of the picture tube on a television set gets the impact test. Then the set itself gets a thorough workout. Not only must it function safely under normal conditions, but even when some of its parts are disconnected, misplaced, or worn out. If secondary arcing ignites the cheesecloth placed over the high voltage cage, the set will not be given the approval of Underwriters Laboratories. Air heaters, too, go through a whole series of tests, culminating in the one with the cheesecloth, which simulates a curtain that might come in contact with such an appliance. Cords used for heaters and other devices of that kind must be twisted and untwisted 3,000 times and still carry the proper current to get the coveted UL label. Switches of all kinds are given wear and tear equal to years of normal service. Not only electrical appliances, but all sorts of products affecting the daily life of everyone are put through the mill. Roofing materials are tested, first to determine their own fire resistance, and second to see how well they protect the wood underneath. Year in, year out, Underwriters Laboratories technicians burn, overload, drop, wear out, and otherwise manhandle every conceivable source of danger to us and our property. An impartial non-profit organization, its bills are paid by the very companies whose goods it tests and so often sends back for further improvements. A testimonial to the determination of American industry to turn out ever better, safer, more efficient products.